This is I, I can't think of a better card that UFC has ever put together. It's uh, something to be a part of right there, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Alvarez Connor's a great fight. Uh, Woodley Thompson. No, that's not a good fight. You don't think so? No. Why not? Because Connor sucks. Okay, do you right. think Eddie's going to beat him? Yes. If Eddie's oh. smart, he won't even he won't get caught up in all the all the dramatics of it. All he'll go out there, take him down, fucking yeah. wrestle him, and fucking submit the dude. So Quick. that is that the hard Easy part work. to not get caught up in yeah, like the Connor's real good at, at, at getting you like emotionally involved, you know. So uh, I think you just go out there, take him down, fucking end him. Quick, done. Check, please. Okay, so you think they just don't get caught up in fucking... Uh, um, has anybody ever psyched you out like that? Diaz. Nate Diaz. Yeah. Well, that's fucking manly to admit that he said yeah, that. Yeah, man. I, I like that. Never, I've really ever heard a fighter admit that someone No, he's out, an great. honest guy. Hey, the shoe fits wear it, man. How, so, how did he do it? What was it that... Oh, just the... I mean, they're good at it. Not in the fight, I mean, just the build-up. I don't let that shit bother me anymore. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It was a while ago. Yeah, so I can... Oh, I, I, like anyone coming at me, starting, I just, like, whatever, man, I'll see you in the fight, you know? I don't let that shit overtain me, but four years ago, yeah, it did. I wanted to fucking, I wanted to, like, hurt him bad, you know? It's just all the shit talking and the, so, we're cool now, though. I, I respect the shit out of Diaz Brothers, man, I really do. At the end of the fight, when that happened, because I do remember the fight, uh, how was he to you right after the fight, like, cool. when it's over? Yeah, yeah everything's yeah. good, right? Well, there was a period, it was cool, and then that we went into this period where, I mean, those guys are... You know, socially, they they, 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 they kind of stand off a little bit, you know? So we went through this period where we were always, like, they were looking at me, and I was looking at them. So uh, I think UFC 200, I went up to Nick and Nate. And I was like, hey, man, let's either do this or let's be cool. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit of us always, like, being uneasy around each other, yeah. like, it's just not cool, you know? So, and they were like, fuck yeah. You know, I was like, I told them, I, was like, I respect the shit out of you guys, man. Do I like you? I don't know if we'd, like, hang out and get beers, but let's be cool. Like, when I see you, let's shake yeah. hands. Like, hey, what's going on, man? Say what's up. And, uh... I hang out with their buddy Joe Schilling a lot. You know, he 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 speaks highly of him. So he's a very I, cool dude. Yeah, man. I mean, I think the, I like guy, that the guy. brothers. Are, I, I I'd like to be cool with them. So I just told them, let's see, let's either do this or let's be cool. And they're like, fuck yeah, let's be cool, man. So uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's always uh, better that way. Way better that way, you, you know, because it just leads up to something that might. Because you know what happens. And Jimmy? I think I think Nate beat Connor. I honestly yeah. do, you know. And and Matt was saying the same thing. And I'm, a, they think I'm a biased motherfucker because I'm tight. I, I like Diaz a lot. Yeah. you know what I mean. So I thought he won three rounds to two. Sure, absolutely. I'm with you. That's yeah, how. I, that's how I had it, you know. And fuck, I don't know. It's it's tough. I but, say that shit. Yeah. They call me a fucking hater. Well, you know what I mean? But it's weird. No, but see what Cowboy's talking about is like. When you got like that, you don't want to be the guy to look away. Like if if another guy is looking at me like that, like it's one of those things where it's like, dude, and those dudes, not, they're real dudes. Yeah, you know, so, so you know, there's no, there's no smoke and mirrors. So if I look at him, he looks at me, I'm like, what's up, motherfucker? Yeah, you know, it's going down. It's on. It's going it's down, man. On. Yeah, he's so, not trying to psych you out. No, he's not trying to, and he's not even trying. He's not even trying to like start. He's not like, oh, there's cowboy. Fuck yeah, of him. Course, no. He's just. They, you look at them, look back, and if something were, you know, so I was yeah. like, let's not even, let's not even have that. Let's just yeah. take and you're, it and off the table. You know, you're real guys. Yeah. You had, you had some history in the past right. when you fought. So you're saying he's not afraid to make eye contact with people. He ain't afraid. They, no. Them motherfuckers ain't throw, afraid to do not. Yeah, I, I, I feel sorry for let Nick and Nate be together in the car and someone say some rough shit next to them. <laughs> they don't know. Yeah, they, they feeling that whole street yeah. with uppercuts for sure. And it's funny though, but with those guys, man, they, they are super, super respectful. Yeah. Like, I mean. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm a, maybe they're like their senior or something. They're senior. I'm a fucking we're getting older, Jimmy. You know, but they're so always just so respectful. Those guys. I don't know. I've interviewed uh, Nate once, and uh, I've, I've met him very briefly. So I don't know either one of those guys. Right. But he seemed yeah. he seemed uh, friendly enough. Yeah, but good, he wanted to jump on the show with us, and they fucked that up. I know. I, told, I asked him in the men's room. I'm like, would you come on with us? And he was like, Oh, well, maybe yeah. you fucked that up. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, were you fucking Peter Gaze before you asked him? No, no, no. I didn't even get that far. I was like, uh, did he turn around? And he came out. <laughs> no, I. They said I, was, I went to. Piss before our show, and like someone's in there. I'm like, I don't care who's in there. I gotta piss, and it was him. And I'm like, why don't you come on with us? And he was like, okay. And then they took him for autographs. But anyway, 205 is amazing. When are you coming back to New York? I'm guessing you're leaving today or tomorrow. Yeah, we leave Friday. Oh, Friday. Okay. No, we leave Thursday. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back ten days before the fight. All right, cool. Well, we'd love to have you again if you want to come and you're feeling up to it. It's fun hanging with you, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming in. I think me and you are good. Not that we were never good. I think we're better than we ever were now. Yeah, I mean, I, I flipped huh? me off. I was just like, yeah, fuck you for the beer. Yeah, and I, I said, fuck was, you back, and now like look at us. Yeah, yeah. That was the end of it. He gave me some of his beer, and I went cool. Very nice. Yeah, that's, I, I don't think so, Jimmy. I don't get involved Don't make it that. awkward now. I wave friendly. Hi. How are you? We're talking about ass eating. We're going to get along great. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, 205 is uh, here November the 12th. Tickets go on sale Friday. And I bet uh, you, I bet you, they sold out before they even go on. Sale. Without a doubt, this is oh, no, going to be a I, massive. Hey man, event. I got people hitting me up for tickets, man. I'm not. Listen, can I just put this out there? I'm not fucking Dana White. 
I you hope not, not. Listen, you want to fucking if you guys oh. want if you guys want a fucking free class at Sarah BJJ. Dot com in Long Island. If you die, come down, we'll give, see we'll me. I'll give you one. We'll yeah, give I'll give you one. You one. <laughs> <laughs> Free intro, anyway. Maybe a T-shirt. I can control that. But I'm, I don't own the fucking UFC. I got people hit me up. I got you know Matt Linland. No. Nice guy. You know Matt Linland. The oh, guy's yeah. a legend in the sport. He's hitting me up for Dana's number, and I like the guy. But I don't give. I, if I listen, Jimmy, I got you a number. If somebody goes, oh yeah, I know Jimmy. I know Jimmy Good. I go back to the fucking yuck yucks. Can I have his? I, go, I can't give away nobody's number. No, if it's a he, you don't give the number. If it's if, a she, you give the number. Or a tranny. That's a she. You give the number. Uh, well, it I call. Is. I, it is. I she. answer. Hello, madam. <laughs> You're all happy. So listen. I hope Danny gets us tickets. I really do. I want to yeah. go to this. I'm hoping Dana wants to go. Ah, this is a tough one, guys. Yeah. Hey, listen. On, I think I'm cornering Wyman anyway. I'm fucking there, Jimmy. Oh, you're already yeah. going. <laughs> I'm going to be there anyway. We're hanging out, though. God damn it. Let's get these guys out of here. They got to think up. All right, we're them. done. Let's, see, let's either do this or let's be cool. And they're like, fuck yeah, let's be cool, man. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean. It's always uh, better that way. Way better that way. You, you know? Because it just leads up to something that might. Because you know what happens, and Jimmy? And I think, I think Nate beat Connor. I honestly yeah. do, you know. And and that, Matt was saying the same thing. And I'm, a, they think I'm a biased motherfucker because I'm tight. I, I like Diaz a lot. Yeah. you know what I mean. So I thought he won three rounds to two. Sure, absolutely. I'm with you. That's yeah, how. I, that's how I had it, you know. And I don't know. It's it's tough. I but, say that shit. Yeah. They call me a fucking hater. Well, you know what I mean. But it's weird. No, but see what Cowboy's talking about is like. When you got like that, you don't want to be the guy to look away. Like if if another guy is looking at me like that, like it's one of those things where it's like, dude, and those dudes, not, they're real dudes. Yeah, you know, so, so you know, there's no, there's no smoke and mirrors. So if I look at him, he looks at me, I'm like, what's up, motherfucker? Yeah, you know it's going down. It's on. It's going it's down, man. On. Yeah, he's so, not trying to psych you out. No, he's not trying to, and he's not even trying. He's not even trying to like start. He's not like, oh, there's cowboy. Yeah, Fuck of him. Course, no. He's just. They, you look at them, look back, and if something were, you know, so I was yeah. like, let's not even, let's not even have that. Let's just yeah. take and it and off the table. You know, you're real guys. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't let that shit overtake me, but four years ago, yeah, it did. I wanted to fucking, I wanted to like hurt him bad, you know, it's just all the shit talking and the, so we're cool now though. I, I respect the shit out of Diaz brothers, man. I really do. At the end of the fight when that happened, so I do remember the fight. Uh, how was he to you right after the fight? Like cool. when it's over, yeah, yeah everything's yeah. good, right? Well, there was a period it was cool, and then that we went into this period where I mean, those guys are, you know, socially they they they, they, they kind of stand off a little bit, you know. So we went this period where we were always like they were looking at me, and I was looking at them. So uh, I think UFC 200, I went up to Nick and Nate, and I was like, hey man, let's either do this or let's be cool. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit of us always like being uneasy around each other yeah. like it's just not cool you know so and they were like fuck yeah you know i was like i told him i, was like, I respect the shit of you guys man do i like you i don't know if we'd like hang out and get beers but let's be cool like when i see you let's shake yeah. hands like hey what's going on man say what's up and uh i hang out with their buddy joe Schilling a lot you know he he, he speaks highly of him so he's a I, very cool dude yeah man. i mean i think I the, like guy, that the guy. brothers are, I, I'd, I'd like to be cool with them so i just told him this is i i can't think of a better card that ufc has ever put together that's uh, something to be a part of right there, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Alvarez Connor's a great fight. Uh, Woodley Thompson. No, that's not a good fight. You don't think so? No. Why not? Because Connor sucks. Okay, do you right. think Eddie's going to beat him? Yes. If Eddie's oh. smart, he won't, even, he won't get caught up in all the, all the dramatics of it all. He'll go out there, take him down, fucking yeah. wrestle him, and fucking submit the dude. So cool. that, is that the hard Easy part? Work. To not get caught up in yeah, like the... Connor's real good at, at getting you like emotionally involved, you know? So uh, I think you just go out there, take him down, fucking end him. Quick, done. Check, please. Okay, so you think they just don't get caught up in fucking... Uh, um, has anybody ever psyched you out like that? Diaz. Nate Diaz. Yeah. Well, that's fucking manly to admit that he said yeah, that. Yeah, man. I, I like that. Never, I've really ever heard a fighter admit that someone no, said No, he's an way. honest guy. Hey, the shoe fits where it, man. How, so, how did he do it? What was it that... Oh, just the... I mean, they're good at it. Not in the fight, I mean, just the build-up. I don't let that shit bother me anymore. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was a while ago. Yeah, so I can... Oh, I, I, like anyone coming at me, starting, I just, like, whatever, man, I'll see you. New York, I'm guessing you're leaving today or tomorrow. Yeah, we leave Friday. Oh, Friday, we'll leave, okay. No, we leave Thursday, wrong. tomorrow night, tomorrow night, yeah. Uh, we'll be back 10 days before the fight. All right, cool, well, we'd love today. to have you again if you want to come and you're feeling up to it. It's fun hanging with you, man. Yeah, man, thanks for coming in. I think me and you are good. Not that we were never good. I think we're better than we ever won now. Yeah, I mean, I, I flipped huh? you off. I was just like, yeah, fuck you for the beer. Yeah, and I, I said, mean, fuck was, you back, and now like look at it. us. Yeah, yeah. the end of it. He gave me some of his beer, and we're cool. Very nice. Yeah, that's, I, I don't think get so, Jimmy. I don't get involved Don't make it that. awkward now. I wave friendly. Hi. How are you? We're talking about ass eating. We're going to get along great. All right. All right. Uh, you know, 205 is uh, here November the 12th. Tickets go on sale Friday. And I bet uh, you, I bet you, they sold out before they even go on. Sale. Without a doubt, this is oh, no, going insane. Be a I, massive. Hey man, price. I got people hitting me up for tickets, man. I'm not. Listen, can I just put this out there? I'm not fucking Dana White. Can I you hope not, not listen? <laughs> you want a fucking? If you guys oh. want, if you guys want a fucking free class at Sarah BJJ. 
dot com in Long Island. If you I come down, we'll give, see we'll me. Give you one. Yeah, we'll give I'll you give one. you one. <laughs> <laughs> free intro anyway. Maybe a T-shirt. You had, you had some history in the past right. when you fought. So you're saying he's not afraid to make eye contact with people? Yeah, afraid. Then no. them motherfuckers ain't throw, afraid to do not. Yeah, I, I I feel sorry for let Nick and Nate be together in the car and someone say some rough shit next to them. They don't know. Yeah, they they feeling that whole street yeah. with uppercuts for sure. And it's funny though, but with those guys, man, they they are super super respectful. Yeah. Like I mean. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm a, maybe they're like their senior or something. They're senior. I'm a fucking I'm getting older, Jimmy. You know, but they're so, always just so respectful. Those guys. I don't know. I've interviewed uh, Nate once, and uh, I've, I've met him very briefly. So I don't know either one of those guys. Right. But he seemed yeah. he seemed uh, friendly enough. Yeah, but good, he wanted to jump on the show with us, and they fucked that up. I know. I, told, I asked him in the men's room. I'm like, would you come on with us? And he was like, Oh, well, maybe yeah. you fucked that up. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, were you fucking Peter Gaze before you asked him? No, no, no. I didn't even get that far. I was like, uh, did he turn around? And he came out. <laughs> no, I. They said I, was, I went to piss before our show and they're like someone's in there I'm like I don't care who's in there I gotta piss and it was him and I'm like why don't you come on with us and he was like okay and then they took him for autographs but anyway 205 is amazing when are you coming back 